Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining exhaust systems. Now I previously made a video on how to increase horsepower with your exhaust uh, and it was brought up to me that I hadn't really explained the basics of exhaust so that's what this video is for. Um, I'm going to explain the basics uh, and then there's some other things that I'll, I'll say at the end as far as different things uh, about exhaust systems that you want to look into. So the very basics of exhaust of course it's the last stroke in a four stroke engine uh, pushing out those exhaust gases and you need them to leave and not only that you kind of want to clean them up and you don't want it to be really loud people don't typically enjoy that so uh, what we've got here is here's your little engine block a four cylinder um, and you've got your exhaust manifold so at, at the exhaust stroke it's going to be pushing the gases through these uh, different plenums here in this exhaust manifold so uh, several stages along the way first up we've got an O2 sensor and that's going to be checking the air fuel ratio so if your engine is burning too rich or too lean, that's what this is here uh, to kind of fix for you. So if it sees that there's oxygen still in uh, the exhaust, then it knows that you're burning uh, kind of lean, uh, not using all of the fuel that you need, to, or not injecting enough fuel, so then your, your uh, engine management system will inject more fuel. And vice versa, if it sees that there's no oxygen, then it'll say, hey, back off on the uh, fuel injection. Next up, we've got a catalytic converter. Uh, and the point of this is to reduce harmful emissions, so things like uh, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, and uh, the vaporized fuel, the hydrocarbons, um, that, have, that you haven't burned, uh, assuming you know it's rich or something like that. So then we've got another O2 sensor after our catalytic converter, and there could be multiple catalytic converters along the way, uh, making sure to clean everything up. Uh, we've got another O2 sensor, and this is basically checking the efficiency of this catalytic converter. And that'll make more sense once you watch my video on catalytic converters. I'll have that uh, in the coming weeks. Um, next up is a resonator. Now, not all vehicles have a resonator. Basically, these are used to drown out kind of uh, specific RPM ranges, um, kind of like cruise speeds. You don't want to just be on the highway with this really loud noise. And so what this does is you've got your wave lengths of sound coming in here and that'll break it up and as they bounce back they'll bounce back and cancel each other out for uh, specific ranges uh, and then finally we've got our muffler um, this just reduces noise across the board uh, reduces pretty much all frequencies makes it a little quieter so your car's not so loud uh, and then it all goes out the tailpipe so that's the basics of an exhaust I'm going to have a video on O2 sensors catalytic converters and mufflers so we can get a little more in depth into those um, and I'll also show, show a clip real quick uh, just of my car and some of the exhaust parts. So it's kind of hard to see. We've got this heat shield here which is covering the exhaust manifold uh, which then goes down underneath the car. And so you can follow that back um, and there you've got the catalytic converter and then that's just going to go back all the way to the muffler. And so here, of course, we have the muffler and then the tailpipe. 